Welcome to Sports School. I'm Mark Verstegen and Anita Nall Richardson. Welcome. Thank you for having me. We're here to help share some of our workout secrets with you today. So let's get right into it. Anita, the first thing we're going to start with is just a body weight squat. We aren't going to need a lot of equipment today. We're just going to need our body. Might use the couch, broomstick, should be about it. So what we're going to do today, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a body weight squat. When we squat, we want to make sure that we keep great posture, the tummy's going to stay tight, and now we want to make sure that we move from the hips back and down. So all we're going to do is as we drop our hips, we're going to come into a quarter squat. We're going to hold it for two counts, and we'll stand back up. Almost feel like you're pushing your hips tall and up and through. The next rep, if we can go a little bit lower, going to hold it for two counts. Whew, exhale on the way up, and we're going to do that for a set of six. Take this at your own pace. And yeah, let's take this stage right up here. Good, I'm gonna have you turn just slightly to your side, other way, there you go. And that way we can get a good view. Tummy's gonna be tight. Okay, here we go, six reps, squat down, quarter squat, one, one thousand, two, and up. Go ahead and squat down and hold it, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, and up. Good, four more, down, hold it, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, and up. Make sure to keep a good pillar, tummy's drawn in, go again. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and up. Excellent. Let's go, two more. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and up. Okay, last one coming up. You can get a little more depth, get it, use those glutes. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and up. And rest. Great job. Where'd you feel that? Back here. Of course, quads, too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And there's going to be a little bit of a burn. If that made you really tired, just hit pause, rest, and we'll come back to it. These are great exercises. If you watched from when we were first born, we first learned how to stand up, our babies really do a good job of bending at the waist and the hips. We've gotta be able to do these movements, so this is why we're gonna challenge you here. The next thing we're gonna do is a lateral lunge. It's more like a single leg squat. We're simply just gonna step out to the side so that our feet are outside of our hips. We're gonna lean over, and again, we're gonna take this at your depth so I can sit back. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. We're gonna come back up to the middle. We're gonna sit back on that leg again. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. We'll come up. We're gonna do that for six reps. Then we're gonna simply shift over to the other side. The main part that I want you to see is I wanna make sure that we sit the hips back and then down so the weight is on our midfoot to heel and I'm keeping great posture. Get ready to do six great reps. And let's go ahead and step out to our right and hold it. One, 1,000, two, 1,000 and up. Good, five more like that. Hips are back and down, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, and up. Good, and go. Great pillar strength, the tummy's tight, and up. Good, halfway there. Tummy's tight, good pillar, fire glutes on the way back up. Good, two more, tummy's tight. You're working your quads, they're burning a little bit. Let's go for a little more depth on this last one, and rest, great job. Now, if you need to catch your breath, hit the pause, get ready to go, and then we'll be right here waiting. Anita, let's go to the other side. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get a good front view. Let's step right out. Let's go right over here to your left. And perfect posture, tummy's tight. Sit the hips back and down. Good, notice your inside leg is straight and up. Good, tummy's tight. Sit the hips back and down, hold that and up. Good, and go again. She's sitting back and down just like you're sitting in a chair and up. Good, tummy's tight. By pausing at the bottom, it will make us stronger above and below that range of motion. Hold it. Good, on the way up. Last one coming down, big breath in, and up, and rest, great job. Where'd you feel that? <laughs> Death in the quads and the boots again. Gotta focus on keeping this in too, I forget a lot, so well, kinda I have think to keep reminding do. myself. And that's a great point. Listen, we always, regardless of what we're doing in any activity, like Anita just pointed out, we really have to create this great pillar strength, which is our shoulder stability, our core stability, and stabilizing those hips. And that's why we're trying to pick those activities. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time. It's okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go into a split squat. We're gonna keep this good posture like you just reminded us. The tummy's tight. And a great cue is just to feel tall right through here, through your whole torso, just feel tall. We're gonna step out the front leg. We're gonna keep your balance. You might need to put your arms out to the side or maybe you can reach out to the couch if you need it. Tummy's gonna be tight. We're gonna drop that back knee straight down. Now both knees are going straight ahead, my knees behind my toe, and that's all the farther you need to go down. And we'll push right back up. The next rep, if I can get you to go down a little bit lower, we'll hold that one, 1,000, two, 1,000, and up. We'll go a little bit lower. If you need to put your hands here, uh-uh. 
Tummy's tight, hands to your side, don't cheat, and we'll come right back up. Okay, let's go for six reps. Again, take it at your depth. Perfect posture, down, one 1,000, two 1,000, and up. Good. Go again, one 1,000, two 1,000, and up. Notice the knee is dropping it down, knee's staying behind the plane of the toes. Both toes are going straight ahead. Good. Two more. And notice this knee is not hitting the ground. It's getting very close to Anita. She's developing some good leg strength. And rest. Great job. Where'd you feel that? Quads, both. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good stretch on that back leg, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to step out with the other leg, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, tummy's going to be tight. And down. One, one thousand, two, and up. Good. One, one thousand, two, and up. Good. Four more. One, one thousand, two. Excellent. One, one thousand, and up. That's the way, finish up, stay tight here. Good, stay really tight in that posture. I know that leg's burning, you're stretching that back hip, and rest. Well done. Those are challenge split squats. I like those. They're very good. And that's a great activity you can do, and if you start to get more confident, gain more range of motion, increase the amount of pause time at the bottom of each rep, and you'll get really strong. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a great teaching tool, Nita. We're gonna use what we call an RDL. Now this you could use is just the same thing from a broom. Take the broom handle off, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this stick right on the back of our head, just as we do here. It should touch our back and it should touch our fanny. We'll take our feet just outside of our hips. We're gonna unlock our legs, but then they aren't gonna change any distance. Okay, so locked, unlock, and then fix them, just like they were frozen. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down, just like we're bowing to the crowd. My hips are gonna go up and back, now I'm gonna feel a stretch in my hamstring. Right there, then I'll pull back up my glutes and hamstrings to pull me dead up straight. Tummy's tight, the biggest part is you wanna keep this perfect posture. Squeeze the stick with your shoulder blades, and I wanna to try to keep a little bit of an arch in my low back with that stick. Good, and sometimes what helps to do that is if you actually put your hand in your low back and then bend at the waist, you're gonna get a better and better stretch. If you go down and you're bending at the waist and the stick feels like this, it's not proper. We want to try to come up and hold perfect pillar strength. We're going to do that for six reps. This is a fundamental movement skill to hold great pillar strength and work this whole back side of your body. Really important for posture and definitely important for all your recreational and sporting activities. Knee is going to stay tight. Legs are slightly unlocked. Good. And do you feel that stretch in your hamstring? Yeah. Here? Good. We can go five more. Good, notice how she's keeping the hips tall, perfect. If you look at the level of Anita's hips, they're staying at that same height the whole time. Great job. Good, hips tall, hips tall, good. Three left, good. Let's finish up strong, hips tall, keep the hips tall, you should feel stretch in those hamstrings. And that's what we're all doing, as soon as you feel the stretch, contract back through and you'll stand right back up and rest, Anita. Do you feel that one? Yeah. This is a great activity, wasn't it? Yeah, great for the hamstrings. And as we start to progress later on in sports school, once you understand this movement, we'll start to add a little bit of resistance and that will really help build your back and your hamstrings and your glutes. It'll be a great activity. It may be one of your favorite activities that we do coming up. Great job. Thanks, Mark. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is just a very simple activity. We're gonna lock in our abs, hold perfect posture, and we're gonna pretend that this toe is gonna stay straight ahead. It's like the pendulum on a clock. It's gonna require some balance and you're gonna feel the muscles working on the outside of your hips. We're simply gonna take that leg out, and we're gonna bring it back down and sweep it across. Now, if you look at my hips, you shouldn't see a whole lot of change by hiking the hip. Almost went over. <laughs> Whew. Hold on to the couch, folks. We're gonna go across, we're gonna reach it all the way out, and then bring it back in. And reach it all the way out, and then we'll bring it back in. We're gonna do that for six reps. Stand next to the couch if you need to have that little safety net. That's fine, we're gonna give it a shot on our own here. Perfect posture, tummy's tight. This will help stabilize your pelvis. That'll allow your leg to move efficiently. We wanna always move from the hub. Okay, here we go, and up. Good, good, five left. Excellent, four left. That's the way you need it. If you can really do a great job reaching a little bit higher, notice how great she's keeping those hips even. We want to make sure you're doing that at home too. Try to be a mirror image of Anita. Good, last one, and rest. Let's switch sides. Kind of back up, okay? Tummy's tight. Lift that leg right up to the side using the muscle here on the side of the hip. That's the way. You may have one side that you're really stable and strong on. The other side, you may be way off balance. But think about that as you do these last three reps. 
right? If we have a limiting factor like that, you need to address it now because it's only going to get worse with age. Good. And rest. Feel that one? Yeah. It's a tough one. A lot of focus to it stay is. stable, yeah. What did you think about to help maintain your balance? I thought about trying to stay grounded, like if I had an anchor on the one leg that's down. That's a great analogy. Stable. Great analogy. Okay, the last one that we're going to do for your upper body pushing exercise, we're going to do right off the back of the couch. So I want you to get near your couch. Anita, I'm going to bring our couch near us. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do is just off the back of the couch, we're going to do a push-up. We're going to get great core stability, so really lock in those abs, an important element of everything in sports school. It's going to have you get just a wider than shoulder whip grip. There it is. And what we're going to do is really lock in the abs right through here. It's keeping one straight line this whole exercise from your ear to your ankle. We're just going to go right down and press right up. Now, if that is too difficult, limit your range of motion. Good. And let's go ahead and count this next rep. We have three of them left. Good, set of six, two. One more coming up. And rest. Great job. You feel that? Yeah. Where did you feel it? Shoulders a bit. Yeah. And once again, right back to the middle, keeping it in. And that's a great thing to have right there. That's more of your total body exercise. Even though you're doing your pushing, that's going to help give you a real stable core. And folks, I'm telling you right now, this is the foundation for all of movement, the quality of your life. Whether you're 10 years old right now, or whether you're pushing up into your 70s, 80s, that's the thing that we have to do. You should still be able to get some of these activities, and I encourage you to do that. Okay, the last thing we're gonna get is to get our backs out of our shoulders, and we're gonna do that with what we call a standing Y, T, and W. Back when we did our RDL, so that exercise where we had the back straight, we're gonna stay very similar to that. We're gonna get the tummy tight, we're going to bend just slightly at your waist, almost like you're whew, catching your breath with good posture. And now what we're going to do is our arms are going to squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. We're just going to lift up, just like you're signaling a touchdown, shoulder blades back and down. Reach. We'll do six there. Then we'll do six with our arms right out to our side, doing six more here. Notice the thumbs are up. And then we're going to do six W's that if I was looking down in your body, that I'd reach back this way. Then I'm going to have you face this way. And we'll go right through that. Good. Okay, good posture right here. I'm going to have you lean over a little bit more at the waist. Now, I want to keep this pillar from here to here really straight. Okay, set the shoulders. Good. That's the way. Five more just like those Ys. Good. That's the way. Notice she's doing such a great job of capturing this here in her shoulder. Back and down. Great job. Last one. Good. Do you feel that back here? Yeah. It's really important to use that. Okay, and rest. Now we'll take it right out to our side for six reps. If your shoulders are burning or your back is burning or your glutes, take a rest and we'll come back and join us. Go again. That's the way. Now we're strengthening muscles of the upper back, okay? The back of the shoulders, the scapulas. Our main concern is you can hold this posture. I know we're working up here, but hold that posture. Two more reps. Good. You feeling that, Anita? Yeah. Good. And rest. Okay, now are you also feeling it in your back yes. and in your glutes? Yes. Your legs are burning a little bit? Yeah. Oh, he's sneaking something in there on you, aren't I? All right, last one's gonna be the W. Again, whole posture. She's working her glutes, she's working her quads. We're just gonna reach back. Good. It's a really great activity to protect your shoulders from injury. Good. It's a workout, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Nice job. It might not look like it is, but it sure is. It's definitely tough. And rest. Great job. So that was our standing Y's, T's, W's, and we have one more. This we're gonna call our L's. And that's going to be to get our back flat again. We're going to kind of look like a scarecrow. We're going to take the elbows up. Should be in line with our shoulders. We're just going to rotate the hands back, rotate the hands down, and drop it. So think shoulder blades, elbows, hands. Retrace your steps. Six more reps. Here we go. Good. Perfect. Rotate. Good. That's it. I'm going to have you keep your elbows a little bit higher. Good and rotate back, that's perfect. And this is gonna help work some of your rotator cuff as well. Anita, that's perfect. Let's go two more. Good, it's almost like a dance move. And rest, great job, Anita. Okay, so that finishes off the work in the back of our shoulder and protecting our shoulder. Do you feel it standing up right a little bit more? Yes. It's good. All right, so that's the first round of our exercises. Why don't you go ahead and hit pause, wipe down, grab a drink. If that's all you can handle today, you did a great job. If not, 
We got a little more in the tank, come back and we're gonna go through it one more time. Okay, Nina, let's go back to our body weight squats. On our body weight squats, if they were a little bit easy last time, let's shoot for all six reps at a lower depth. If you can get six reps at your lowest depth, you're gonna have improved a lot. Let's go ahead and turn just slightly sideways. There it is, perfect. Tummy's tight, we're gonna sit the hips back and down. That's the way, hold it for two counts, good. Five more, hold it, one 1,000, two 1,000 and up, good. Hold it down, one 1,000, two 1,000 and up. Tummy's tight, one 1,000, great posture, need it and up. Sitting the hips back and down, the weight's back here on our heels and up, last two. Weight's back and down on the heels. It's a great activity, use your hips and your quads to save your knees, last one, hold it and rest. Oh, a little cocky there on the last one, almost three counts. <laughs> great job. Okay, the next one we're gonna do now is gonna do our lateral lunge. This one we're gonna make a little bit more difficult. Again, same thing, we'll step out and we're gonna sit back and down, try to go a little lower with the chest up and come back up. We'll go right back down and hold it again, try to get a little better depth based on your first set. Okay, here we go. Step out and we'll sit back. One, 1,000, two, 1,000 and up. Good, keep that tummy tight. I need to give us that cue last time and up. Good, four more, tummy's tight. Working the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings and stretching out the inner thigh of your left leg and go three more left. Up, good, keep that belly button drawn in. Good, those legs may be getting a little shaky, but stick with it. Last one coming up and rest. Okay, I'm gonna push you. We're gonna go right to the left side now. Step out, keep this inside leg straight and here we go. And that's six, good. And five, tummies tight, using your glutes and back up. Two count pause, one 1,000, two 1,000, good. Be sports school disciplined here. Sit back, hold it, good. Sit the hips back and down, hold it for two and up. That's the way. Let's go, you guys. Finish up the last rep and rest. They need a great job. Listen, you're in control of video on demand. If it's time to take a pause, wipe off your face, grab another drink, that's up to you. Second set, you may be a little bit more tired. The better shape you get in, it'll always feel better the second set because your body's gotten warmed up. Okay, now our next one's gonna be into that split squat. We haven't done a whole lot for our glutes and legs yet, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna step out into that lunge. We're gonna do this again. Shoot for your best depth and do it all six reps. Okay, tummy's tight. One, 1,000, two, 1,000 and up. Let's go down and up. Great job, you guys. Notice she's sitting back, the knees behind the toe. Great posture, that's the way. Good, two more, tummy's tight. Good, last one coming up. She's got a good stretch. Hold it, hold it and up. Well done. Okay, we'll switch legs. Okay, perfect posture, tummy's tight, shoulder blades back and down, and go. One, 1,002, and up, and down. One, 1,002, and up, down. One, 1,002, and go. One, 1,002, good. Go again. That's away, last one coming up. You got it, and rest, great job. Now, if your legs aren't a little shaky, something's wrong. <laughs> Understand this, even world-class athletes get tired. It's just all a matter of how well we can recover. And that's why it's so important. Just take those small steps. Don't think about what you haven't done. Think about what you have accomplished. If you can do that, you're well on your way to getting deep into the sports school system. Okay, Anita, we're gonna go back to using that dowel again on our back. We'll keep that good posture. Tummy's gonna be tight. The hips are gonna be back and down. We'll stretch that out for the hamstrings and then pull them back up for the hamstrings. So be as much of a stretch and a strengthen at the same time. Okay, tummy's gonna be tight. Three points of contact, your head. The shoulders will squeeze the dowel and it'll hit right on the fanny. The hips stay at a nice tall level and come back up. Good. Now I've worked some of these muscles in the previous activities, but we're gonna lengthen them back out. Stay real tight in the core. Excellent. That is perfect technique. And maybe let's go three more reps. Good. Really stay drawn in in the abs. Now stay that torso's gotta be tight. Squeeze that dowel between your shoulder blades. Last two. Sit, squeeze that dowel between your shoulder blades and rest on the way up. Good, great job, Anita. Well done. We're pushing the pace a little bit here. If you need to take a break, take a break. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is get our balance and be able to work it right through, out and up. I'm gonna hold that dowel right here in case you need to grab it. I don't think you will. <laughs> I'll give it a go without. Okay, tummy's tight. 
You can use the edge of your couch, perfect. Good and sweep. Now notice Anita's doing a great job of keeping that leg straight. And if anything, she's pointing her toe in toward the middle of her body. Good. And this is requiring a lot of core stability, working the muscles on the outside of her hip, and it's also working a lot of muscles on this side of her hip. That's it. Let's go one more rep and rest. Let's switch sides. Okay. Tummy's tight. Good. Find the muscles on the outside of the hip. Excellent. Keep your balance now. Remember what Anita gave us as her clue? Feel real grounded in the ground. And make sure we stay real tight in the core for these last two reps. Finish up, you're getting a little tired. Good. And rest. Well done. Okay, how do you feel? Good. Yeah? Yeah, starting to sweat a little. And I'm telling you what, <laughs> everybody's going to. All right, you're not gonna be in any level of shape that you're not gonna feel any of these exercises. It's a great starting point. If you can do these, you'll be able to do everything else that we set in front of you well too. Great job, Anita. Thanks, now man. let's work on that upper body strength just a little bit. We'll go ahead and get to your couch. If you really feel confident off the back of your couch, we're going to go off the front of the couch. I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and put your hands right on the front of the couch. Again, we're gonna lock in the abs right here so your body's a straight line between your shoulder, your hips, and your ankle. And we're gonna try to get six great reps at your depth. Okay, good, up and through, excellent. You know, so I'm feeling pretty good here. I'm not even breaking a sweat. Good, Anita. Three, four, great depth, great range of motion. Five, and six. Anita, you did a great job of keeping your body perfectly straight. It's hard to focus in yes, here, though. Yes, yes. We always want to think about, oh, I'm just using my upper body, but you really have to, again, in the sports school system, think centered, and that way I can develop more power out of my upper body. Okay, last exercise of the day right here. Gonna finish up just as well as you started. Tummy's tight. Gonna get in that good position of our shoulder blades back and down. Tummy's in there. Sitting back on our hips, our shock absorbers. And we're gonna go with our shoulder blades back and down to lift our arms, shoulder blades. Again, if my body was a crane, this would be the arm of the crane, but the wheelhouse is back here, so let's use that wheelhouse. Six reps there, six T's, six W's, six L's. Okay. Okay, tummy's tight. Gonna bend over a little bit more at the waist. Perfect, and wise. Good. Good, five more. Good, four more. Three more. Two more, that's a way to move from the shoulder blades. One more, come on now, finish. And rest. Now, out to the sides. Your low back may be getting a little tight, your hips may get a little tight, but we're finishing up. Come on, work through it. Everybody's gonna get tired. Just work right through that. Good. If you can't, hit pause and come back to us, but Anita's gonna be cranking away here. So don't put her on pause too long or she's gonna end up doing thousands of reps. Good. Let's go one more rep here. Good. Now we'll go to W's. Do you need a rest? No, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> we'll go through. W's gonna rotate the hands back. Five more. Good. Four more. Good. Three more. Two more. Good. Bring it back one more time. And rest. Great job. Okay, the last one's the L's, that darn alphabet's too long. <laughs> All right, we'll take those arms right off from your shoulders, rotate back like a scarecrow, bring it back down. Shoulder blades, elbows, hands. Shoulder blades, elbows, hands. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together now. I know they're getting tired. Good reach. Shoulder blades, elbows, hands. Last one, shoulder blades, elbows, and hands. Anita, you're awesome. Great job. Thanks, Mark. Okay, that is beginner phase part two and that's going to give us a great workout total body your heart's beating a little bit yes. yeah legs are probably a little shaky but you know what there's nothing there that's unattainable and if you're able to get through your daily life you're able to do this workout and if you've done one part of it great job if you're able to do both rounds through that circuit you did an unbelievable job so focus on what you did great and that's going to help empower you to achieving your goals tomorrow we'll see you next time at sports school